Hello and welcome. My name is Alfredo Contreras. I'm a deployment engineer with Network Consulting Services. We're here today to discuss how to package Windows 10 Feature Update 2004. Let's get started. We'll start by downloading the media for the Windows 10 2004 installation provided by Microsoft. You get that through your normal Microsoft uh, channels. Uh, another tool that is available is the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. Um, that is available to anyone with an internet connection. Um, just search for Microsoft Media Creator, and that'll generally download an executable that will run on your machine, determine what version of Windows is needed, um, and then provide you the media in ISO form. In my instance, I've extracted the files to the SWD images, uh, Win 10 Enterprise 64 Fresh Install 2004. And here you can see that my files for my that have been extracted are here. I've also included the, uh, the ISO in the same directory for safekeeping. This is not needed in this area. And I'll make sure to exclude that in my setup and my package uh, distribution uh, later. The next thing that needs to occur is create the creation of a of the package. So the package is under distribution, distribution packages, and in this area we've developed the package uh, that needs to be created. Um, under public packages at the moment, uh, I've already created one ahead of time. Uh, I've named it Windows 10 In Place Upgrade 2007, 2004, uh, x86, x64. It is an executable package, as it will be running my setup.exe uh, for the upgrade process. And let's take a look at that. Here you'll see the name, the package of the name, of course. Uh, the path to my setup.exe, again, reviewing the images, uh, fresh install 2004 setup.exe, and I've selected the primary file. Again, the primary file being setup.exe. My install parameters are very important here. And this is where I designate how that setup will run and execute uh, the update on, on the machine. Moving on, the next option uh, we need to configure really is, uh, here is the architecture options. Uh, it is very important that we select the right architecture uh, to be deployed here. And again, this is dependent on the ISO and what, what uh, architecture is supported in the ISO provided. Um, in my case, we have 64-bit, and the reason this is important is the ISO architecture needs to match the target machine's architecture as well. So we can't run a 32-bit um, ISO on a 64-bit machine and down, essentially downgrading that to a 32-bit architecture, and vice versa. You can't upgrade a 32-bit Windows 10 uh, to a 64-bit architecture Windows 10. Additional files are supporting files that help the setup.exe do, uh, do the rest of the, of the, of the installation. So here, again, here we have uh, the little browsing field. So this is exactly um, in my current uh, working directory. This is, these are the files that are available. At the, at the bottom field, these are the, option, these are the files that are currently selected. All right, the accounts used to uh, execute and uh, distribute this package. Um, we're always gonna pass, for the most part, we're always going to pass the jobs over to the local system account of the machine to perform the jobs at a um, higher level. Uh, we could provide a specified user. The current user likely doesn't have rights to do an in-place upgrade. So that will definitely more often than not, not work. Um, but the local system account is, is the one we're going to use here. Uh, timeout setting. So for this setting, we do want to enable the timeout setting. And generally, you know, we're not going to, from, from an, if this was any other package, we wouldn't go past an hour. Uh, in fact, an hour would be probably too long anyways um, for as an installation timeout. Uh, but because this upgrade process is so massive and so intense, and it's so involved, I might have to give at least two hours here as a timeout, uh, installation timeout. 
Um, and again, there's just so many files that need to be downloaded. There's so many tests that the installer needs to perform, and it's definitely going to just need the extra the extra timeout. Now, I've modified this existing package, and it's very important that I right-click on the package and reset the package hashes. What that does, what that does in the back end, is sends a job to run CRC checks on all the files uh, listed as a primary file and additional files. To create the scheduled task, we'll right-click on our package and then select Create Scheduled Tasks. A new task will appear with the name and date and time uh, of the package to be deployed. To assign targets, we can drag and drop the, tar the machine to the, to the scheduled task, like so. Go to the properties of the scheduled task, select targets, select the targeted item, select add and add the additional users, uh, the additional computers, uh, LDAP quer queries, of course, scopes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So in this case, this is our in-place upgrade uh, device. Under task settings, I am going to select the policy supported push. That's already selected. Last but not least, under scheduled task, I will select start now and click Save. Now that the scheduled task has been set to active, um, the project has been executed and is starting to cache locally and on our uh, Windows 10 in place uh, machine. A couple things to check when executing the package are things like setup.exe, is uh, running under Task Manager. You can see that under Details. Right-click and select Open File Location. You can see that the LDM cache has been populated. SWD images, Win 10 2004. And here we, have, we see the setup.exe. The other thing to look for is um, some kind of process, whether right now well, it looks like we're downloading and caching things locally. Uh, a little bit further down the line, increase of memory would, would occur, and then, of course, more CPU utilization will, will, will happen as well. Now that the Windows update in place has been performed, uh, we have rebooted several times in the process and are now waited at the sign-in screen. What we're going to do now is sign in, username, super secret password, reintroduced by Windows 10. And finally, we're at the desktop of the machine. To confirm this actually perform the install successfully, uh, what I like to generally do is go into start, select run, type in winver, and confirm that the new version is, is listed in this about Windows dialog box. You see the 2004 uh, build is, is listed for 2019 Microsoft Corporation. Once the Windows 10 in-place upgrade has executed successfully, uh, we want to be able to report on our success. Um, to report on this, we'll go to, we can create a query. So under public queries or all queries, we'll right click, new query, name the query, Scroll down to OS, expand, 
scroll down to NT Info, expand, select Release ID equals 2004. Here we're going to select Insert, then hit Save. Once executed, Liquera will resolve any machine that reflects the version that was installed. Thank you for joining us. Today we discussed how to package Windows 10 Feature Update 2004. This is Alfredo Contreras saying, hasta la próxima.